Ed Beeson, and I was asked to do the faith aid for you this month, and so it's my privilege to be able to do that. I am right now here in Honduras at New Life Children's Home property. This is my prayer circle, and uh, behind me you might see the roofs of the, of the children's home. And what I want to talk to you about this month is the power of prayer and the importance of prayer and faith in our prayers. Um, many years ago, uh, the Lord gave us a strategy for prayer in a geographical area where we would go in and, and begin to minister. And you know, there's a scripture in Psalms 2.8 that says, Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for your possession. And you know, we as AFCM, God has a call to the nations on our ministry, on our lives, on our churches. And so today I just really want to focus in on prayer for the nations and believing God to be able to, to transform nations. We've seen so many transformations in Peru as we ministered for almost 30 years in Peru. And here in Honduras, we've been here for close to eight years. Um, transformation in the lives of children and people and families and the nation as a whole. And so what I want to do today is just kind of explain to you the strategy that the Lord gave us many years ago about prayer and the effectiveness of prayer, especially in a geographical location. And one time we were just praying and asking the Lord, Lord, what, give us strategy. How do we really break off darkness over a city, over a nation? How do we do that? And so um, as we were praying, I just saw an image in prayer of just these different heads of ministries that came together in a circle. And pretty much the essence of the, the um, of, of the vision was that um, each one came in together in a covenant. They covenanted together in love. And as they began to pray, as the Holy Spirit began to give them the, the download and the anointing to pray, they raised their voice as one, as one, as one body, uh, in one voice, before one God, in one throne. And as they raised and took authority over the darkness, the darkness, just like when Jesus walked on the waters, and, and the storm raged around him. And I saw this raging storm around this circle of, of people that gathered together in the name of the Lord and in covenant in love. And they, with that one voice, all of the darkness, that storm of darkness just dissipated and, and stopped and, and there's great peace. And I believe that God is calling us as the body of Christ to join other ministries, to join together with like-minded uh, people uh, full of faith to really uh, send forth decrees and prayers and intercession over the nation um, in, in strategic places and that God really wants to do great things. And so I just encourage you to join together the prayer focuses that are in your city, that are in your state, for the nation of the United States of America and even the nations of the world. And uh, zero in as the Holy Spirit directs you. Zero in to some of the, the spots that we as AFCM have mission centers in. We have, uh, we have missions going on all over the globe. And I just encourage you to ask Holy Spirit, what nation does he want to give you in prayer? What nation can you come together with, with uh, the fellow believers of not just AFCM, but other believers in those nations and truly do a great job for the Lord? I was recently involved in One Nation One Day, a ministry, an international ministry that gathered many heads of ministries. Victory Christian Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma was involved in many other ministries as well. And we were able to go to Peru. There are 5,000 missionaries that that swamped into the, the country. We just invaded the country, uh, joined together with about 10,000 Peruvians, national ministers, and we blanketed the country with humanitarian aid, with outreaches, with uh, drama teams in the schools, and ministering, and ministering salvation on the streets, and conferences, ministering the church. And then the last night, we had huge campaigns all over the country in different key cities, and one was Iquitos, which I was a part of. And we had a whole stadium loaded with people, a humongous amount of people. And so there was a huge impact, not just in 
not just in uh, in salvations, which we had a lot of salvations, like 17,000 salvations in the nation in that, that week, but we impacted the area of prayer. And I was able to be um, part of the 70-day prayer focus up to that week. And so we prayed every day, you know, for different departments and different things. And we felt a huge impact. We felt a shifting, a turning in the spirit because of our prayers. So I just want to encourage you as you're, um, as you're thinking about your city, as you're thinking about the nations. And I want to uh, finish this faith aid today with a scripture in Isaiah 44. And I'm just going to read this really quickly. It's, it's something that the Lord put on my heart for you today. It says, it's Isaiah 44, and we'll read verses 1 through 5. And it says, um, it says, let me get back up to the top. It says, but now listen, Jacob, and you can put your name in there, or your state, or your city. Now listen, Jacob, my servant, Israel, whom I have chosen. This is what the Lord says, he who made you, who formed you in the womb and who will help you, do not be afraid. Jacob, my servant, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessing on your descendants. They will spring up like grass in a meadow, like popular trees, by flowing streams. Some will say, I belong to the Lord, and others will call themselves by the name of Jacob. Still others will write their write on their hand the Lord's and will take the name of Israel. So I just want you to, let's gather together as AFCM and believe for the nations. Believe that God is transforming the nations, that the nations will be called by his name, and that he will be the God of America again, of the United States of America. He'll be the God of, of Honduras and Peru and Africa and China and all the nations of the earth. Let's join together. Let's activate our faith this month and really believe God for the nations. Thank you so much. I appreciate you listening to me.